today I am going to taste test this product. Liz kettle cooked uh, wasabi ginger. And it's actually the winner, uh, winning flavor of last year. And it was by a mom of three, and yeah. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, I already opened it before. I'll tell you this. It has like a very vinegary smell to it. Almost like, I would say, um, malt vinegar. I smell. It's not as hard as other um, kettle chips I've had, and I've had some that are like really hard. Good texture. In the beginning, you get is the ginger flavor plus a vinegary taste, which is the malt vinegar. And then, kind of like uh, the aftertaste, is the wasabi. But not really that much. Mm. Mm. A little sweetness to it, but not bad. I definitely taste the salts in it, because I'm very particular. You know, kind of like, um, I'm thinking maybe a soy sauce into it. Kind of has that soy saucy taste to it a little. Mm. Um, well, let's see what actually it says on here. It says here... The ingredients, potatoes. Good. Hope that's the main ingredient. Second ingredient is vegetable oil, which, duh, it's fried. So the oils would be is uh, sunflower, corn oil, and slash or canola oil. So basically, a vegetable oil is a combination of any type of oils, or lower grade of other vegetable oils. So when people say, oh, all corn oil is vegetable oil? No, it's not. Because vegetable oil is like a bits and pieces of other oils from different vegetables. While it's more expensive to get one that is just a pure product of, let's say, a canola oil or corn oil or sunflower oil. Well, the next one is wasabi ginger seasoning. All right, Like I said, it had sweetness to it. So this is what it actually makes of it. You have sugar, main ingredient of that seasoning pack is sugar. The next ingredient is uh, maltrin dextrose, which is made from corn. Then you have brown sugar, another sugar on top of that. Then you have salt, then soy sauce. And then it tells you uh, the ingredients for soy sauce which has uh, soybeans, wheat, salt, okay. And then you have, that's the ingredients for soy sauce. Okay, continuing on the seasoning packet, um, which is spices. I don't want to tell you, which probably is going to be paprika and a few others, because paprika has that smoky taste. I mean, it gives it the color, you know, like a... Down, uh, like a reddish tinge to it a little and also it does is gives it a sweetness including ginger so that's one of the spices when there's um, garlic powder okay that also intensifies the flavor of the ginger flavor because right now I'm getting like Kind of like a little afterbite of the like garlic. Uh, yeah, it's one of those hidden notes. You have to eat enough to you end up getting 
these flavors out. There's onion powder, which it has almost no flavor to it because it's so little probably. You know, um, I can barely even taste that. I can actually taste the garlic, but it is dumbed down quite a bit. And then it says natural flavoring. And then in, within the natural flavorings, it says include, including natural extracts of sesame seed. Well, actually it says of sesame, which most likely it's of the seed. In other words, um, sesame seed oil. So that's why it has like kind of almost a, a sushi taste to it. All right. Then you have is uh, is citric acid, um, gum arabic, okay, yeast extract. All right. Then you have is um, a medium ch uh, chain triglycerides. Um, um, in other words, it's not a small chain of triglycerides, but it's a medium-sized chain of triglycerides. Okay. Then you have is the caramel coloring. That's what's giving it its little extra hue of, like, brownness, as it were. Then you have is horseradish. Here's okay. Horseradish. All right. Shouldn't it be wasabi instead of horseradish, but let me go on. Then you have is uh, sunflower oil and wasabi. Wasabi is like dead last on the list. The reason why is wasabi is such an overpowering flavor. That's why it has to be at the very end and has the least amount. Because if you put too much into it, the problem is that it'll be too strong and most, you know, people of purveyors of chips are like, I'm afraid of wasabi. Oh, that's going to be too hot. This is like, eh, you know what I mean, of the hotness. But the flavorness of all the different flavors, I think it's not that bad. But yeah, it has like this, um, to me, it still has like uh, this vinegary um, taste to it. Which, of course, that's actually, you know, what I said was it had was this flavor of, of malt vinegar. Well, you have wheat products, okay? You have is yeast. You have is the salts and spices. Plus, you have this soy sauce, which, if you knew anything about soy sauce, it comes, you know, just read the back of the bottle of, um, of your favorite brand of soy sauce. Mine happens to be Kikuman. And the one I like actually comes straight from Japan. And actually the ones that are made in California and the ones that are made in Japan, same recipe and it's freaking delicious. But the one I want to actually get of the flavors, now of soy sauce, is actually a very expensive one. And that's still handmade. Well anyways, other than that, um... Yeah, uh, should you try this? Eh, maybe. But it's like kind of a whim for me. It's like, hmm. I think I'll buy these again. Not that bad. I'll finish this off and think about it later. But, till then, see ya.